Well, Margaret, when she was a child, she would meet people. And every time she met somebody, she would come home and say, that's my best friend, Daddy. <laughs> and I'd say, Margaret, it's your best friend. What is her name or what is his name? I don't know his name or her name. <laughs> I said, well, how can it be your best friend? Well, it's just my best friend. So, <laughs> she came to me after they'd been dating a while, and she said, I have met my best friend, Daddy. And I said, well, what is his name? <laughs> she said, Andrew. And I said, well, I know they got something going now. So I want you to join me in host toasting the two couple, the young couple and wish them the happy, holy life with joy and children. Thank you. You know, when Andrew met Margaret, uh, I noticed something different. And what I noticed different was that he kept talking about was just her boundless positive energy. And this unconditional, just genuine loving and affection that comes from her that he just, he just couldn't get over. He just said, ah, oh, man, just this girl, there's something about her, something so special, you know? And, and he never talked about someone that way. And I knew that from the get-go that this was, this was probably something that was gonna stick. To see, uh, to see my sister this happy uh, has been awesome. And uh, I really challenged her, and I have to say that I'm gonna eat my words for this because I said, you're not gonna find somebody that is driven and successful and is going to dote on you and is going to be sensitive to these silly things that you like to do I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm, um, and I said, you're just, you're not gonna find that. You're just not gonna find that combination. And then Andrew came and really screwed it up for me. Just from what he described about Margaret, I wrote her a poem, and I explained to her that I describe her as a butterfly, but touch only one rose, not too many. And every time she touches us, it opens. It shines, and she brings the best in him. God has called us to find friends, to rejoice with those who rejoice, and mourn with those who mourn. Um, Margaret, thank you for being my biggest advocate and my supporter. I think of my highest of my highs and my lowest and lows, you've been there. And I just thank you for that. Um, you've just not only become my best friend over the eight years, but you've become my sister. And I just truly thank you for all those great just being there for me. I love you. And what I got to say to you, Margaret, is that, you know, I've been to exotic continents with this man, possibly alternate dimensions, been all over the globe. But I know how much attention this guy, he's one of the most dedicated, loyal friends I've ever met. And, you know, how much attention he's given to an idiot like me, I mean, he's going to pay you way more than that. So I see how much his heart is in this. When I met the Mansour's family, believe me, I was very impressed. I was convinced. From such good tree comes only good fruits. I told Andrew, you have my blessings. Go for it. I, Andrew, take thee, Margaret, to be my wife. I, Margaret, take you, Andrew, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Andrew, we're so excited to have you coming into this family. You have no idea. Dad? Yeah, buddy. Gene and I are so happy for you, and we're excited for what's to come. Andrew, I really can't thank you enough for making Margaret so happy. She absolutely lights up when she talks about you or any time you walk into a room. You are everything and more that I could have hoped for for my best friend. I don't often vouch for my sister, <laughs> but she will always love you. She will take care of you as a partner, as a friend, and she is gonna be a incredible partner for you. This is a wonderful family. Andrew, we are so proud to have you part of it. And Margaret, we are so proud of you, sweetheart. I'm so honored to stand next to you both, not only today, tomorrow, but forever. To many memories and beautiful blessings to Margaret and Andrew. Cosepa, raise your glasses. 
and the whole Chaldean half of the family. I heard you guys before doing... Yeah. Yeah. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, I'm pleased to present to you Dr. and Mrs. Andrew Salem.